A number of security-related conventions and protocols have come into being to deal with the increasing global air transport security risks. Three conventions and a supplementary protocol exist that institute measures to increase the security of air travel. Over the years, they have been enhanced, and the three now form the basis of the ICAO security regulation. The Tokyo Convention of 1963 provides that the state of registry of an aircraft is competent to exercise jurisdiction over offences and acts committed on board signatory aircraft. In the case of an anticipated or actual unlawful seizure of an aircraft in flight by a person on board, then all states party to the Convention are obliged to take all appropriate measures to restore and preserve control of the aircraft to its lawful commander. After a series of hijackings in the 1960s, the international community, under the auspices of ICAO, resolved to deter and suppress such terrorist acts. The Hague Convention of 1970 ensures that any such act should not go unpunished, and it defines the act of unlawful seizure of aircraft. The Montreal Convention of 1971 further amplified unlawful acts against the safety of civil aviation and specifies those acts making them punishable by severe penalties. It is mainly concerned with acts other than those pertaining to the unlawful seizure of aircraft. The protocol supplementary to the Montreal Convention of 1971 was adopted in 1988 by the ICAO conference and extends the definition of offences given in the 1971 Convention to include specific acts of violence at airports serving the civil aviation community. To provide international weight to these conventions, all contracting states have agreed to make the identified offences punishable by severe penalties. You will recall that Annex 17 of the ICAO Convention deals with security and requires signatory states to adopt the SARPs and establish security authorities, programs and mechanisms for determining threat levels. Of course, to make all of these conventions work, training programs are essential and all signatory states are required to implement such programs and plans. Additionally, as an ongoing commitment to security, each state is required to cooperate with other states in the research and development of security systems and procedures which will better satisfy security objectives. The ICAO conventions allow any aircraft commander who has reasonable grounds the ability to restrain any party on board and to protect the safety of the aircraft, persons or property on board maintain good order on board, deliver or disembark any person to the competent authorities if he believes they are jeopardising the aircraft. While the commander can demand help from a member of the crew, he or she can only request the aid of a passenger or other non-crew member. You should now understand that the protection of all aspects of international air transportation is a complex one and a constantly changing situation. The cooperation between signatory states to ensure that the highest standards of aviation security apply, whilst maintaining the advantages of the expeditious nature of air travel, is essential.